Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, I did mention last time, or I did say that these, we wouldn't really need these anymore, and he gave them to us, and I decided, well, we don't really, but it might still be, they might still be useful, because if we uh, encounter anything that we need more defense for up here, we're gonna need... We're gonna need to uh, use that probably and e equip some better armor because to upgrade um, our flame breaker gear, we're gonna need some fireproof lizards, which I've had a little bit of trouble collecting because they like to run away. You can buy them from Beetle at places wherever Beetle are, wherever Beetle are, wherever Beetle is. So, I'm gonna quickly see if I can actually... Hang on, what's... Nope, 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 yes! Thank you. Hot feather pigeon. Oh my goodness. But yeah, trying to get things is difficult. Oh, I'm gonna grab some roasted bird thigh. Since it's just gonna cook up here. Oh, is that what I need? That is what I need. Come here, you. Please. Thank you. We can also change the Sheikah Sensor target to be these lizards, if we can figure out where they are on the list. Right there at the very end, apparently. So let's see, where... Back this way? How far back this way? If this is taking me into the lava, then that's not going to work. Is it saying, like, up this thing here? Where is it? Where is it telling me to go? Oh, it's telling me to go back. So is it like... That's really strange, okay. Maybe not searching with this then. Because it's getting confusing. I might have scared where, where it was away. Anyway, I guess the best place to search is back over here. Probably? I don't really know. I just remember that over here I had a lot more luck with them spawning. Not beeping much. If I can find rocks, that's definitely going to make it easier. Oh my goodness, I just feel like buying them instead of all this work. I'm going to go see if I can buy some from Beetle at a stable somewhere. Wow, it looks very strange to be wearing this all the way over here. Oh, and there's just some around here? Where, though? Where? This is... this is a little bit ridiculous. Maybe it tells you which rocks that they can be under. Or something. Am I really getting closer to one? How far away does it need to be? Oh, there's one over there, there's one over there as well. This seems like a good spot. And I don't think we need too many of them. Because I think it's just one per... ...item for a level one. Oh, don't... Don't, don't... Don't scare it off, please. <sighs> Take that. You scared off my lizard. That's annoying. So it does work as long as you get... You walk for a long enough time and... Not scare it all off. But that does just seem like too much work. Easily. Yeah, let me try. Nope. 
There we go. That's that's just way easier than having to actually chase them down and figure out where they are. Is that another rock? Well, it's a rock, but it doesn't count as a rock that you can pick up, so... Now, where is Beetle? Because that's what I really need right now. Where... Where is he? Where is he? There. Okay. Just hiding from me. Also, there's another, uh, another iron sledgehammer there. I uh, didn't... Oh, okay, he doesn't actually have it. I think. Yeah, he doesn't have it. What? He has hearty lizards, though, if you wanted to make full heals. Elixirs. Um, I'm gonna hope that I actually have enough, because I did collect a few, so... Let's have a head over to... There? Or maybe I should go there. That one's... No, this one's... They're all not close enough to the... Things. Let's go this one. Great fairy. I think the other thing we need, though, is moblin parts, I think. I don't know for sure, so I'm going to find out whenever I get over there. I wish I could run faster all the time. Where I just run armor. Come on, speed up armor. Come on. Okay. Here we are. Now... Let's see what we need. Great enhance my clothing. Yeah, moblin horn. Looks like all of them need it. Let's see how this goes. The other thing that I need to be... Hopefully have stuff for is the next few levels. Uh, let's see. Okay, what does it need? It needs more fireproof lizards. Oh my goodness, why those? Anything but those. That's really unfortunate. What does this need? Oh, the warm, warm safflina. That would ma that makes sense. So this should at least increase our defense to 15. Still not great, but just a little bit better so we're not going to be taking as much damage. And hopefully as I continue climbing Death Mountain, I'll actually find a few more. So let's just head right back to the shrine. This is actually the easiest point to go from to continue up. Okay, there's a fireproof lizard nearby. Thank goodness. Just what I need. Hey, is this different? No, I've already seen things like this. Okay. So I have seen th these before. Oh my goodness. Don't kill me, please. Now I also want, I think, I'm going to take a look at that other thing that I saw. So I'm going to just... Wow, really? That's really rude. So rude. Now, where is this thing that I'm looking for? It's around here. Oh, he was trying to nibble on my... my bomb, but it... it didn't work like that for him. Okay, down here. Is this little... track and... minecart type thing. And... to use it... Let's use stasis, and let's swing a whole lot. And this is actually really cool, because by doing this, and then letting it go... Whoa! Peek, the microphone happens. That's what happens. I... wow. Okay, then. I think the best way to do this is with a spear, instead of just hitting it with this. There's probably even better ways that speedrunners do, but I don't know. Do I have an actual spear? I don't think I have an actual spear. 
That's unfortunate. Anyway, let me try this again. Maybe just let it go with less than before. Oh my goodness. Stay balanced. But yeah, this thing just takes us as far as we want to go. We might need to hit it a few more times to keep going all the way through. But let's go with that, and let's switch weapon again. The Master Sword is probably, like, the easiest option if you need to just increase stuff. Oh my goodness, it's bouncing around far more than I'd like. But if we can make it all the way across this, eventually... Oh, really? Yeah, let me hit this once. The sledgehammers do a little bit extra, so you need to be careful with that. And maybe stand in the middle. There's also over here which has another minecart, which if you use magnesis, you can put it onto the rails. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm trying to go that way. Go this way. Oh my goodness. If I can try to have it angled correctly. Oh dear, this is going to go badly. Oh, get back in, get back in. Well, there it goes. <laughs> anyway, we can see our destination, but I'm going to get this one since I can show how it works. You can also go back if you wanted to, but I'm going to just put this on there. Get on, get on, get on, get on, get on. Okay. I don't think you can use Magnesis while you're on it, unfortunately. So let's try this again. How much is that going to do? A little bit. And if we get to the top of this, I think where it's pretty much smooth sailing from there. Because it's going downhill. Just go down, please, maybe. Like that, and then go. Okay, there we go. And for going across this minecart track, we actually find a shrine over here. Oh my goodness, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Get off, get off, get off, get off, go. That nearly ended really badly. Blue flame. This... This... Shrine... Is, is a very memorable one, actually. We have a very specific objective to do with it. So we need to make sure we get that to work. So... Let's move these. Just a little bit. I need to get to that chest, so I'm, let's try to do that as best as possible. You can also just move them back and forth as, as you need. Just make sure you're staying on the opposite one to get a little bit further. And then there we go. Don't fall in lava, don't fall in lava, don't fall in lava, don't fall in lava. Okay. I'm fine. Royal bow. In the past, the King of Hyrule presented this bow to only the most talented archers in the land. Its combat cap capabilities are as impressive as its extravagant design. Oh my goodness. I'm fine. This... This bow can just go. I'm fine. Also, I think I need to take a picture of this... Both of these, so... Let's just do that. No, I've already taken a picture of that one. How about this one? No! <gasps> Lava! And edges. Let's take that with us, okay. Okay, everything is fine. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I wish I could move that while I was on top of it. Anyway, let's send that all the way over to... About there, I guess. And I can actually get off of it to line both of them because it has to be in line. It has to line up just right, or else. Also, these blocks aren't going to be in line anyway. I don't think. Or maybe, maybe, maybe it is more in line than I thought. I just camera angles make brain weird. Official sentence. Anyway, there's a torch here. If we needed it, apparently lighting that torch with this torch makes it red. But we need a blue flame, so let's take it this way. And let's light this over here. Which activates that. So basically this entire shrine, which is pretty big actually, 
Um, we need to just get the blue flame to the end by activating all of the different things. Which is easier said than done. But we can hold it down if we need to, to get through there. We can also use stasis on those to stop it. But I think this is going to work best for now. Now, we can't take our torch with us, but we can switch to regular arrows and light our arrow with the blue flame. And now, we should be able to light this torch from here, as long as I aim well enough. Which actually allows us to continue. Oh, and these things turned off. If these water spouts things uh, get to your blue flame, it will put it out, so... You have to be careful when carrying it around. Now, do I need it over here? I don't think so. I think I just need to... Go here, and then... Oh, hello. Oh, hello. That wasn't that bad. I got hit by that, and it just... Light scratches, you know? You could also use magnesis on it. Or stasis. Oh, I need to get that quickly. No, oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh my goodness. If only I had a blue flame. There we go. Oh, there's actually things here, isn't there? Okay, just run past them. Just run past them. Please miss me. Scrat, light that up. Okay, and now... And now... What should I do to them? To make them pay. I can probably just use this. There we go, that's two. What if I blow them up? That works too. Cool. There's quite a few chests up here though, so let's have a look at those. Giant Ancient Core. I will be very happy to take that, considering the rewards we can get with that now. A Great Flame Blade. This magic-infused greatsword was forged in the fires of Death Mountain by Goron Smiths in an ancient age. Attack when the blade glows red to expel flames. Just a regular flame blade, but it's a great version, which makes it better. Hang on. Let me drop it, please. Thank you. I want to take a picture of it at just the right moment. If it will let me target it. Hang on. This is very important. Trust me. Nice. That was necessary, okay? Now, let's switch back to our torch, because over here, we have a little bit of a different puzzle. So, we can light this up easily enough. But these two over here, when we light them, get put out. Like, immediately. So, let's just... Hang on. Let's do a little bit of... Oh, no. Please? I'm pretty sure I need to... Spin attack, but I don't know how to spin attack easily. Although I think it's also possible that you're just supposed to um, get them both quickly. So let's go like this with our arrow, and then let's just shoot across there. And that works a lot better than what I was trying to do, so. Um, let me change my Sheikah sensor because I don't think the targeting is going to help me much for the fireproof lizards. So let's just set that to chests, and I'm probably doing alright for treasure chests at the moment. Oh, I need the blue flame. Don't leave it behind. Also, once they're both both lit, then the um the thing's not gonna be a problem. Okay, let's figure this out. That was easy. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to actually time that a little bit and like maybe even change them up a bit to make that make sure that works. Anyway, let's just go down here and let's get the blue flame so we can keep it with us a little bit longer. Shoot that there. And I think I want to leave that just for a second. So let's go over here. Oh, I see. 
Okay, so... We need to get this... across without it going out. So, we need to be quick. Stasis? Magnesis? Please. Oh, please. Go! There we go. And now, I would also like to get that treasure chest, which I think I can just pull over to me. Oh my goodness, just shaking the platform. A silver rupee, thank you. There's still another object in here to get. And now, let's just set this on fire, please. Please, please. Thank you. That's going to be completely pointless now. It would just kill them, but... Because they moved before I could get to it because of everything. Why are you still alive? Oh! Pain. These are being very annoying to me. Also, we have these. I guess I could use those for extra defense. Got a few chicken things to eat. Chicken. Goodbye. At least they drop parts of me. Because that's the main thing that I'd like from them. Since I can actually use that. Oh, and I needed to keep the torch with me because of what... Ah, why did they have to move so much? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's grab that. Ah, burning. You're supposed to like light it like that. But because I was apparently in combat, according to the game... They just... Ugh. You could probably get a little bit closer before doing it. Anyway, let's go have a look at this treasure chest, since it's right here. Some ice arrows? Okay. Now... Now I actually wanna... Spin attack here, so let's just get in the middle, and then... Why did that not work? Oh my goodness, it even puts out my torch, which is why this one is over here. Oh my goodness, please. I'm trying to aim a little bit. Please! Oh my goodness. I don't remember it being this difficult. There we go. Oh my goodness, okay. How are we doing for treasure? We're still missing something somewhere. Which I'm guessing is somewhere up here? Otherwise I'm gonna have to rethink my strategy. Oh, hello. Oh, that's just the beginning. Um... I'm gonna have to go through the whole thing again. Probably not exactly, but anyway. Have to figure out where this treasure chest is. If I can see it, then that would be a good starting point. Hang on. No, that's not it. Oh my goodness. Everything is far too complicated. And I'm over complicating it. Which does not help. My thing was beeping at me a lot, so it might actually be up over there. And I just didn't see it. Unless it's like behind here. Or possibly further forward behind it. Behind this one. Or something. Like off the edge? Nope. It is this way. Apparently. But where? Oh! Right there! Go! Go turn! Thank you. Oh my goodness, that nearly did work. A forest dweller sword. I'm starting to get really annoyed at the shrine. Um, let's drop this dragon bone thing because it's just gonna burn. Oh, I'm inside of it. I am the dragon bone club. There we go. That's all that done. And that's all the treasure chests in the shrines. That's everything. Cool. Good. It only. Ugh. It only made me lose happiness. 
Not really, but anyway. Oh, I need to switch out my sword. I was wondering why that was on fire. Because I was like, if that's my bow, then why is it doing that? But nope. Also, that just locks on. That's interesting. Okay. Let's stasis this. And then... Press the right button. And let's... Launch. Please. Aim. A little bit better than that. Here we go! Oh my goodness. You could also just walk back if you need to. This is not a great shrine to walk to and from. Also, I just want to quickly look at the map. Because the place we just were at looks like a crab on the map. Which I think is cool. Anyway. Let's just freeze that and then keep going. It's also interesting that there are guardians like ruined guardians in the lava over here. Now also, I believe just in front of us somewhere, somewhere, some skulls that are just like in the water, lava, that one. Um, picking up sledgehammers is probably a good plan whenever you find them around here. Yeah, look at them. Um, let's just, uh, keep moving. Hopefully make it back to the start of this area. I don't need that, so let's turn that off. Hang on, let me just freeze that. Over there is a thing. I don't think that's going to count at all because I can't see its head. Because we have a quest that wants us to do that. Well, at least this is still working. Hopefully it's not going to push me straight off into the lava when I reach the end. It'll literally be the end otherwise. Okay, let's just get ready to jump off. Get off. Get, get off. Link. Oh my goodness. Nope. Um. Oh my goodness. Why is jumping off of that so much difficulty? Also, well, this is really right back next to the shrine, so I really should have teleported, and there's a lizard. Got it. Good. Oh my goodness, everything all at once is over. That's a little path over here that I should have taken, rather than going past. So anyway, now to actually continue with our main quest, we need to actually just follow this path all the way around. And it should be a lot simpler than everything else we've had to do recently. I love the lava flow stuff. It looks cool. Like it's going into the little, little pools. Not into the big lava and it looks just even cooler. Ah, oh, so good. Reminds me of Drawn to Life. The next chapter. Mostly specifically. Oh, I'll take that. Thank you. I don't know why I'm grabbing Octoblins. I don't really need them. But I still want them, so... Grab those. Okay, and now, after all that around the area, we're now at the upper level. Just over, um, what's it called? What is it called? The Goron City. The Goron City is right, right below us. There's also this railing thing here, which I could take. I don't know if I've actually ever taken this before, and I don't know where it goes. So I want to find out. I'm kind of curious. So, although I'm going to run out of stuff to do this with, possibly. Oh dear. I don't want to waste a few things. I don't, I don't want to waste them. I believe you can also use bombs to try and get it going, but that might be a little bit difficult for my skill level. There we go. Oh, here we go. Going back here. Which there could be stuff back here that I don't know about. Okay, just goes right back to the shrine. 
And that was somewhat pointless, unless there's a Korok around here, which there could be at the top of this, but I'm going to leave that for now. And let's go back, please. Thank you. Oh, I see. I see. I see it. I see it. I see it. Oh, pain! Why? Don't jump while you're on that, I guess. Anyway, there's a little rock over here that I noticed because of using stasis. There we go. Let's head back this way, just manually, I guess. Although I don't know if I can all the way, since there's a few gaps, but I think I can just... Yeah, there's a little... There's, th there's no stuff to catch me. There's nothing to catch me. Get up the cliff. Oh, that nearly ended badly. Okay, let's keep going. Also, I think this is a hand holding this bridge up from the statue. Oh, yeah, because there's also another Goron statue at the front of the city that I didn't really notice, apparently. It's so cool, though. Anyway, let's keep heading this way. And there's another one of these. These are just... These are just my thing to do now. I'm just enjoying these too much. I don't think this goes very far. Oh no, my scimitar of the seven broke. What a shame. That at least helped me skip those enemies, I guess. But anyway, now we've come to some hot springs over here. Death Mountain Marker 7, the world-renowned, refreshing Goron Hot Springs. Also, there's another cart, so I'm going to just use that, apparently. Even though I don't really need to. Fix yourself. Good job. Um, What do I want to use? I could use the Master Sword or the Frostblade. Probably the Knight's Claymore. Let's go. We could always just take the path that's right there. But this is working out fairly well for us right now. Oh, please, stasis work. Oh, my goodness. There's things falling from the sky. And please actually hit this the right direction, Link. Thank you. Here we go. And right over here is another shrine for us, so let's go do that while we're still not going absolutely insane from riding those carts any longer. Oh, stalled flight. Interesting. As you can see. Very interesting. That's not high enough for me. But I think if I stand on this and get ready to stasis the block, I can stasis that. That leaves the switch open. And is there any... There should be a treasure chest somewhere, so I'm going to go back and search for that. But where would a treasure chest be? If there was any. There should be one. Somewhere. Hang on. Let me do that. Okay, there is one nearby. It's just hiding somewhere. It's not on the underside of the block. Oh, it's over there. I see it. Right over there, but I don't think I'm going to make it. Ah, I didn't make it. I need to be on top of that stone block to actually be able to make it. Don't get crushed, don't get crushed. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Giant blocks can be terrifying sometimes. Do that. Okay. Here we go. Let's get this, please. Oh, oh yeah. I'm in the back of the chest. This looks like it's going to push me through the wall, except it's not. Silver rupee. And that's all the chest in the shrine. Cool. Just want to look at me right now while I'm inside of the chest. Oh, no, I'm not inside the chest. I'm... This is a really weird spot. Okay. Try to get on top of the block again. 
because this block has got this electric thing on top of it, and when it gets to the top of its thing, it connects with that one up there, which opens up this door. And we just have another look at that blue crystal thing that it's connecting to. So when that goes away, it closes that. Anyway. Well, there we go. That's another shrine down. We have four spirit orbs, but I'm going to just hold on to those for now. Let's keep moving up the mountain since we're getting closer to the top. So much closer that we can see a lot more detail of it right now. It's basically right there. Looking very cool. Oh, and there's Unobo being attacked by moblins. So. Someone, please, help me. Okay, I'll deal with these things for you. If I can get them a little bit closer together, though, that'll be very useful for me. Because I'm going to do a little bit of this. Take that. Take that. That was pretty good damage. If I can get them closer together again, that'd be good. Also, they have a different weapon on them that I wanted to take a picture of if I can find the other one. Somewhere. Anyway, let's have a look at these two. I think there's only one, actually, that has a weapon. Anyway, they're dead. Please let me get the weapon. Please let me get the weapon. Please let me get the weapon. Wow, you're crazy strong, Goro. You saved me again. Okay. Take the parts, take the parts, take the parts, take the parts, take the parts. That's the more important thing. A drill shaft. This Goron, art uh, Goron artisans used recycled metal to forge this weapon. The tip is made from an old uh, excavation bore, which affords it unmatched piercing capabilities. Very cool. That's actually pretty good for the, um, the minecarts. Thanks for saving me, brother. I would have been in real trouble if you hadn't shown up when you did, Goro. So still no sign of the boss, eh? He's not coming. Huh? Not coming? But why, Goro? I, uh, his back hurts. After we went through all that trouble to get them, they, the painkillers didn't even end up working, Goro. Well, if the boss can't help, there's nothing else we can do, I suppose. I'll just head back now. Wait a minute. Huh? You're not going back? But why, Goro? I want to board Rudania. What? You're gonna try to board the Divine Beast? Why do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Lord Daruk? It's dangerous in there, Goro. Though I guess if you you weakened it first, it might be possible. But why risk it? Well, I don't really get it, but I'm sure you have your reasons, Goro. The problem is, good old boss raised the Bridge of Elden to make sure that mean divine beasts uh, couldn't get over here. Which also, the bridge has the face of a, the, the person. In order to get to where Rudania is, we'll have to find a way to get the Bridge of Elden back down, Goro. Boss would normally use the cannon to lower it. We can't get access... Uh, we can't get across unless we figure something out. If Boss can't come down here, then he can't use the cannon to lower the bridge. That means we're out of luck, Goro. Oh, of course, it occurs to me that you know how to use the cannons, don't you, Goro? Maybe we can get across after all. So let's just do what... Uh, let's just do what I do to help Boss sometimes. That means I'm gonna be the cannonball, and you'll launch me, Goro. Are you sure? I've got the Rook's protection, Goro. My ancestors' help can't possibly fail me. But what if you fall in the lava? Okay. That means I can smash into anything, and it won't hurt one bit, Goro. But what about the lava? Smashing into things is fine. But the lava... 
My ancestor Daruk was a big deal, Goro. That's what boss says. So it's just gotta be true. And I can use Daruk's protection just like Daruk could. That means there's no need to worry, Goro. So rest easy, got it? Well, go on then. Take aim at the Breach of Elden and fire away, Goro. Just, you know, be kind of gentle about it. So there we go. Let's take aim. And... Let's fire. We did it. See that, Goro? If we put our heads together, anything is possible. That power I got from my ancestor, Daruk's protection. It really is something, isn't it? Anyhow, I, I guess my time as a cannonball isn't over just yet, Goro. So let's get to the move on across that bridge, brother. Well, he seems fine. But anyway, that is it for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.